So today's speech was about the role of promoting work and entrepreneurship in small communities as a mechanism toward uh, whānau transformation, community transformation and child wellbeing. So three key areas research tells us and from my own experience that drive any entrepreneurial activity in a small community are ensuring that you have the entrepreneurial environment in place so that's your leadership, your capability, human resource, financial resource, mentors and networks and the most important component is collaboration. Uh, the second key ingredient is entrepreneurs. Uh, without entrepreneurs, change agents, iwipreneurs, um, you really don't have anyone to uh, get things going and to move and shake in your community. And as I mentioned before in the entrepreneurial environment, collaboration. So for me, collaboration is probably the most important. Um, everyone needs to be in the waka, okay? So public, private, community and iwi to really drive and realise true whānau and community transformation. Everyone needs to do it together. Some of the initiatives that I have um, been part of in my lifetime, probably the most rewarding has been the Bluff Healthy Homes project. Um, it initially started off to improve the health and well-being of children and whānau in their homes by improving indoor air quality. Um, and that has, there's been a, a multitude of amazing outcomes um, for our community and everyone that's been involved in the, in the program. Not only have we insulated homes and educated whānau around the importance of insulation, how to ventilate your home, how to um, keep a healthy home, which benefits um, your own health. One of the outcomes from the Bluff Healthy Homes project that I am quite proud of is the community empowerment, the engagement, um, and yes, they're, they're living healthier lifestyles. Um, another major outcome from the Bluff Healthy Homes project is we've employed a lot of staff over the last decade, um, and you know we've supported young, a lot of young Māori men with gaining their licence, supporting them with literacy and numeracy, um, involving them in health and safety training, getting them up to the level of becoming a supervisor, quality control, um, learning how to uh, sell a product, you know, relate to the customer. Um, so that we've, we've seen the changes in them, you know, pride in themselves, pride in what they do. Um, and there's also, I believe that, um, you know, from the work that they've done and, and coming through this whole project, you know, they're now homeowners, they're fathers, they're um, really engaged in their children's lives and school and in the community. So there's, yeah, as I mentioned before, there's um, a lot of, this, this project has had a ripple effect um, in lots of different ways. So part of the Bluff Healthy Homes project was the research. Um, at the time we weren't successful with gaining uh, research funding to support in-depth action research and to have actually qualified researchers to do it. So what we did do is we gathered as much information as we could pre and post insulation in their home. And we have, over the years, we have had some researchers look at the data and we do have evidence there that the project has certainly improved uh, child wellbeing and we see this through less doctor, vis less doctor visits. Uh, their attendance to school has increased, has picked up and improved. Um, their concentration and focus at school has improved. Um, and also, um, Fano, you know, qualitative research and information that we've got back is Fano a lot more health, happier. They're um, healthy in themselves, and they're feeling well. For people that are looking at driving their own initiatives in small communities, I would say. 
the entrepreneurial environment is critical for anything to move in the community. Um, and that is, you know, collaboration, you really need everybody on board. Communication, you need to be very transparent in any community development activity, um, and it needs to be consistent and constant messaging. Um, you really need that community buy-in uh, right from the start, and you just continue. Um, it's, yeah, it's relationships and communication with the community. Also, um, mentors and networks you know if you come across someone that has a specific skill or expertise in a certain area bring them on board you know the more people that you have on board um, it can really help uh, with what you're trying to achieve and and of course financial contribution um, in community development it is difficult to um, get funds uh, but our our community uh, Philanthropy organisations such as the Community Trust, the J.R. McKenzie Trust, um, they're amazing. Um, Te Putahitanga, they really invest in your passion and, and your idea and uh, the bigger picture of what you're trying to achieve in the community.